Good day subscribers. Today I want to share with you what I think is the best gaming, and for me programming mouse, on the market. And here's the best part, for under $30. So let's jump in. Okay, so here we have the TechNet M009V2, a programmable LED filled mouse with 10 programmable buttons. Now, those 10 buttons do include the right and the left click, so it's really more like 8, but you have a right and left scroll wheel, a down on the scroll wheel and the scroll of course, an up and down here on top of the mouse, and then 5 additional buttons on the side. And yes, for anybody wondering, the LEDs are also programmable except for the ones on the side. They stay this orange color. It would have been cool to have these be able to change to match a setup if you needed either a blue or a green highlight, but it doesn't really bother me. So, in the box, the TechNet comes with the mouse, of course, an instruction manual, a mini disc for the software, which we'll be taking a look at a little bit later, and a little warranty card for the next two years, which I thought was a really nice touch. All right. So what makes this mouse so great? First off, the feel. I mean, it just fits in your hand perfectly. I'd actually forgotten how good this mouse feels until I had to use a different mouse to make this video. Not only are the ergonomics for your hand just about perfect, but the weight is really nice and heavy, and that's thanks to this. TechNet added this little compartment where you can add up to six four gram weights. So if you like your mouse on the heavier side or a little bit lighter, you can just add or remove weights until it feels just right. Second, the buttons. Everything clicks perfectly. Not mushy at all. Even the scroll wheel and the side buttons. Take a listen. And third, the look. I mean, it just looks like a mean mouse. Aggressive and with the lights. I mean, I love turning on my setup just to see the mouse light up. Other little great features, the cord is braided, and it's actually pretty long, which is really nice. Alright, so we've done what's good, now what do I not like? Well, for this mouse, really not much. The only complaint I have is the front and backmost buttons on the side can be a little bit hard to reach depending on where your hand is. Uh, for me, sometimes if my hand's a little bit forward, it's hard to hit that back button, and if my hand's a little bit on the back, uh, it can be hard to reach and touch that front button sometimes, but it's really not a problem. The only other negative I found is I would have really liked the side buttons to light up uh, and be able to change colors. It doesn't really bother me for what I have, but it would have really been cool if you could just change those colors to blue or red or whatever it was when you were highlighting the top part of the mouse. Um, the top part is totally customizable, but those side buttons just stay the orange. It's a cool orange, but if you wanted to make your setup like all blue or all green or whatever, it just doesn't look right with those side buttons lit up orange. So we've done the hardware, now let's jump into the software. So here we have the TechNet software. As you guys can see, it's got programmable buttons here on the top and also on the side. The buttons can be set to really anything. You could set them to hotkeys or single clicks or even macros, and the macros are easy to do. Over here you can control the lighting. The lighting can be set to standard, which just holds one color, respiration, which kind of breathes through that one color, and neon, which cycles through all of the colors. And the colors can be chosen here in the DPI settings. Overall, the software is great and really easy to use, but it does come with my biggest grievance for the product and that is that the software will start up every time you turn your computer on and there's no way to turn it off. It's not a huge issue and sometimes it's actually convenient because it will allow you to choose which configuration you want when you start up. A configuration is just a profile so I have a standard configuration and then a gaming configuration but as somebody who likes to be able to have full control over their computer it does get a little bit annoying that there's just no way to turn that feature off. All right, so we've done the mouse, the good and the bad. Now for the big question, does it actually help with coding? And the answer is yes, a big yes. 
I have my buttons programmed to copy, paste, compile code in Atom, start recording, and screenshots for my side buttons. And on top I have back and forward in IE, DPI change, and down page, which is great when you have a long program and you don't want to scroll all the way to the bottom. The Amazon reviews say it all. Right now it's on Amazon with four and a half out of five stars and it really is that good. The only thing it's missing is I would have liked to see those side buttons change colors with the top of the mouse, but overall, great buy. If you guys are interested in this mouse, check out the link in the video description below. Thanks and subscribe.